couple of things we want to look at. Uh, first of all, it gives you an ability to defend a variety of offenses. We do not care what you run on defense. We are going to predicate on, de or on offense. We are going to predicate what you can run because in West Virginia, you may see the wing T one week, you may see the I next week, you may see uh, spread offense the next week. So we feel like we've got to be able to defend those types of offenses with multiple looks. I'm not, a, I'm not from the belief that you can sit in a 4-4 and defend every, every offense. You've got to be multiple, and our, and our kids love what we do. It's hard to prepare for. Uh, multiple looks in three days. And let's face it, some high schools might not spend but 45 minutes to an hour a week on defense. Um, we spend three days on defense, three days on offense, because we feel like that uh, defense wins championships. And uh, my offensive coordinator is here with me today, and he's done a fabulous job the last four years. Um, our philosophy on offense is first downs equals touchdowns. And so we've averaged 35 points a game the last four years, which, is, which makes it a little bit easier on defense. But we really feel like it's, it's hard to prepare for multiple looks in three days. And what you're going to see today, we're going to give you a, we may play a, a three-man. Um, you know, some, some of my colleagues back here in the back from Hurricane, they're a spread offense. We had to give them multiple looks. They had a fabulous quarterback last year and, and a kid who, who in space was very, very good. So we had to give that quarterback multiple looks, not only up front, but in the secondary as well, to try to confuse him, because if we didn't, we were going to lose that football game. Players enjoy the freedom uh, given to move to multiple fronts. Our, our kids love the freedom they get. Um, they're freelancers a little bit. Um, I heard a, a presenter today that said, you know, we, we want our corners to, you know, let's just face it, corners are not real physical, and they want all the nice stuff on and look at me. In my defense, if you're not going to be a, a, a headhunter or a tackler, you're not going to play. We expect our corners to be physical and our corners to get in run support. Um, but our players really enjoy what we do on defense. It allows our defense to attack from every angle. You may, be, you may come out one snap and be in the spread and we're in a four-man look. Next snap, you come out and trips open and we're in a three-man look. We feel like if we can confuse the quarterback and the offensive line, it is, that is to our advantage. So you very rarely see us sit in one defense more than two snaps. Uh, we, and it's very simple what we do. It's not hard. And let's just face it, we're not dealing with, with uh, Harvard grads on defense. We're dealing with guys that, you know, uh, keep it simple, stupid. That's our philosophy on defense and, and let them play football. And, uh, you know, we were blessed this year that – uh, and you'll see some clips. Uh, we had some guys on defense that could flat out play. And uh, the best thing I could do is stay out of their way and let them play. Um, and it's easy adjustments to offenses and motions. One thing that does not bother us, and, and Coach Castle, uh, my offense coordinator, sit down and, and he'd say, well, what would this motion do to you? It doesn't change us. We do what's called bump. So our linebackers will bump to motion. So basically all we're doing is replacing one another. Um, and it doesn't make a hill of beans. If you can motion all day long against us if you want to, it doesn't bother us. So those are some of the things that I think are uh, you know, important to the odd stack. Uh, 